All right, so we have our tambourim recorded, and now we want to edit our edit. All right, so we have our tambourim recorded, and now we want to edit our audio so that the tambourim is exactly on the beat. Uh, what we can do is change the size of our window with the track height. You see I click this little triangle here. I can make it large. Now, of course we want to zoom in and we can control right bracket. See the second beat is a little bit misaligned. So what I want to do here is separate this audio clip at a certain point. So I'm going to click on the second beat and if I go up to edit I can separate the clip at selection. So notice the shortcut for that is control E. So I've separated my clip. Now we are in grid mode by default. In order to make minute adjustments we'll have to go to slip mode and now we can move our track wherever we want. Alternatively, if we're in grid mode, we can hold down the control key and immediately go into slip mode. So, so I don't mess up any of the other beats, I'm going to separate again right here. So I'm just messing with this beat and slip it right onto that beat. So this is a little bit of eyeballing, but you can make sure you check. And that's right on the beat. Maybe a little bit uh, behind because the transient you'll see is a little bit after. Okay, a transient is just the, uh, in the waveform, the highest peak. So we'll kind of we'll keep it right there. All right, now, that one looks on enough to not, not mess with. I'm going to control E again and get this one right in line. So you'll see now we have a gap in our sound. So what are we going to do about that? Well, in Pro Tools, if you have the Try Tool selected, which you can change to Individual Tools, the Try Tool, you'll see that you have some options now when you go to the the waveforms so what I need to do is crossfade these like so if you do not if you leave it like this and do not crossfade then you might get some artifacts in your sound uh, when you bounce it out when you uh, export it so what's going to be important is that we are cross fading where there is no audio. So I'm holding control while I do this because I'm still in grid mode and I just want that quick slip mode for editing. And I create my crossfade. What crossfade does is it fades out this piece of audio at the same time that it's fading in this piece of audio. Of course you can uh, set your parameters so you can have a more parabolic crossfade so you can change the curves but for my purposes right now this is going to be just fine and I'm going to crossfade this and this as well so we have a nice contiguous audio that with no blips or artifacts and that's the basics of editing in Pro Tools you're just moving audio around and crossfading or actually I could show you a fade if I wanted to uh, in order to eliminate any artifacts that may happen because of split audio tracks we can use the fade tool is already selected uh, with the try tool but you get to it at the top so you'll see it's the fade tool right there it's the crossfade tool at the bottom and in the middle you have the tool which adjusts the length of your clip. So I'm going to do this one more time just so I have some space for demonstration. Alright, now 
So we have all this space in between. We don't want any blips, so all we do is crossfade it. So I'm holding down control again. And there we go. So we have a nice contiguous auto audio clip that goes to zero at the end. Yep, and you may have heard a little bit of a blip there because I didn't fade this in. So you also have to fade in. So we can get into elastic audio, you'll find that right here. And uh, that's going to be a much easier option for this kind of editing because it'll lock uh, the audio waveforms onto a beat. So it'll, it'll auto detect these transients like this one right here, where you see it's a little bit bigger. And it'll allow you to lock that onto the beat, but we'll do that in another tutorial.